If you're a die-hard Microsoft maniac, you're gonna wanna take a gander at our top five Windows Phone 7 phones countdown. Now before we begin, let's talk about what the Windows Phone 7 experience is all about. We have Android, which can run HTC Sense, and it can run Moto Blur and different interfaces, but Windows Phone 7 devices center around one primary architectural design, and that is hubs. We have a people's hub, we have a me hub, we have pictures, music and videos, we have Xbox Live Store. And within these hubs, information and contacts and multimedia are organized very well. Is a Windows Phone 7 phone a phone to save you from your phone? Nice try, Mr. Gates but we don't see it that way. For simplicity's sake and productivity, Windows Phone 7 phones are great. However, the internet browser is not up to snuff, and many of the cameras on these phones are really lacking. But without any further ado, let's jump into number five, and number five is the HTC Arrive, which just arrived in our recent review. This is Sprint's first Windows Phone 7 device, and it has a slide-out QWERTY keyboard that angles up for your viewing pleasure. It has a 3.6-inch capacitive WVGA screen, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and a one gigahertz Snapdragon processor to get the job done. Aside from that, the Arrive is a great all-around phone, so why don't you make sure you arrive at your recent Sprint store. <laughs> Coming in at number four, we're going to focus on the Samsung Focus. This is AT&T's first Windows Phone 7 phone, and it cracks out of the box with a four-inch Super AMO LED screen that specializes in a 50,000 to one contrast ratio. Therefore, we can safely say this thing is a multimedia powerhouse. The Focus is probably the sexiest of the Windows Phone 7 fleet. It's slim, glossy, and makes you just want to get down with your bad self. Call quality on this phone was great, and it also had the best camera out of all of the Windows Phone 7 phones we've seen. In at number three is the HTC Surround, and it is by far the black sheep of this herd. The HTC Surround slides out, but not in your ordinary, typical, QWERTY way. The HTC Surround actually slides out a Dolby Digital speaker panel that blasts SRS sound. We took it to a mall and got kicked out swiftly. It's that loud. The Surround has a 3.8 inch WVGA screen. It also has a one gigahertz Snapdragon processor and one of the best call quality performances out of all the Windows Phone 7s we've reviewed. If you're a die-hard music fan and sound is your bible, then you're going to want to check out the HTC Surround. Numero dos is the HTC HD7, and this phone is out to give the HTC Evo 4G and Motorola Droid X some serious competition. The HD7 picks up where the HD2 left off with a 4.3 inch WVGA capacitive touchscreen, the biggest screen on any Windows Phone 7 phone to date. We also get a kickstand and a 5 megapixel camera with 720p and a dual LED flash. 16 gigabytes of built-in NAND flash lurks inside the HTC HD7 and its 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor is wicked quick. Although the HD7 doesn't have the bells of the HTC Evo 4G or the whistles of the Motorola Droid X, it's still the top quality entertainment choice in the Windows 7 fleet. Offered by none other than the entertainment giant T-Mobile. And let's hear a drum roll for our number one Windows Phone 7 phone. It's the LG Quantum. And we will say that we see a Whitman sampler of phones during our job. But LG builds some of the best on the market. The LG Quantum is no different. We get a highly intuitive slide-out QWERTY keyboard, 16 gigabytes of built-in NAND flash, and a one gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor for speed racer action. The LG Quantum also exhibited the best battery life and proved to be the most versatile Windows Phone 7 phone out of the latest crop. AT&T users have it made when it comes to Windows Phone 7s. This has been our top Windows Phone 7 phone countdown. For all of the reviews on these phones, go to www.infosyncworld.com. Until next time, this is Mike Perlman signing out for InfoSync World.